everyone, and welcome to episode 47 of the Nitty Heather podcast. My name is Heather, and I'm coming to you from Kent, Washington, where I live with my husband, Tom, and our Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, Pepper. This is my podcast where I talk about everything that I am working on with knitting and sometimes a little bit of crochet. And I also love to feature amazing makers out there, anybody who adds to the beauty of our fiber community with their designs, yarn, and other yarny accessories. If you are a new viewer, welcome. Thank you so much for finding me and I hope you enjoy yourself. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad you joined me again. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you would like to follow me, I am at Nitty Heather on Instagram and I would love to connect with you there. And any patterns or yarn or accessories I talk about will be listed and linked in the description box below. Today is Friday, May 13th, 2022, and I have a lot to tell you about so let's get started. Today I am wearing the Tipsy Rib Scarf by Pamela Wynn. This is just a two by two rib scarf that gets offset so that it looks like a little bit of a barber pole effect almost, kind of a spiral. I knit up as much as I could and then I seamed it together with a whip stitch so it's really more of an infinity loop but I love it. This was made out of Cascade 220 Quattro in the colorway purple, pink, and green, and I got this from the stash I inherited from the lady who cuts my hair a couple years ago, and it just is very warm, very comfortable, and I love how it knit up. If you want a really fun texture pattern, check out the Tipsy Rib Scarf by Pamela Wynn. Today I am also wearing a pair of socks from Desert Vista Dye Works. This colorway is called Someday, and it was the exclusive 2020 prize skein that included a variegated mini with the same colors as the self-striping main skein. I knit the vanilla latte socks by Virginia Rose Jeans across the front of the whole sock. They were knit toe up with a wedge toe, about 12 rounds of a 2x2 rib for the cuff, and an afterthought heel. Now on to some acquisitions and happy mail. First, I'd like to tell you about the mystery mini skein set that I got from Crystal Skies Hand Dyed. This is actually the March set and the colorway is Plum Dandy. Here is her label. Crystal Skies Hand Dyed on Etsy. And here are the beautiful plummy colorways. This Mystery Mini Skein Club, she is inspired by a color every month and dyes five 20 gram mini skeins. I get mine on her 7525 Ragdoll Sock Base, but she takes the color and creates other colorways incorporating that inspiration color that she chooses for the month. I love all these beautiful plum purples. This I will add to my granny stripe blanket eventually. I've got lots of months of these stacked up that I'm going to add, and I think it will look really great in my granny stripe blanket. Check out Crystal Skies Hand Dyed on Etsy. Another club I received, which was also from the month of March, is my Broadway club from Trilogy Yarn. And in March, her inspiration was Wicked one of the best modern musicals of our day. And here is what she came up with with that artwork as her inspiration. Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to see how this is gonna knit up. I'm not sure if it will micro stripe or how it's going to look, but I'm absolutely going to love it. This is her plush sock base, which is an 80% merino, 20% nylon, and 10% cashmere base. And it is so luscious and soft. I absolutely love this base. and can't wait to start knitting some socks and maybe some other things out of these skeins that I've been getting from her Broadway club. Check out TrilogyYarn.com. Last but not least, I'd like to show off some accessories that I got from my friend Julie from the Love and Stitches membership. Her company is Burlap Handmade on Etsy and she does a lot of really cool wooden etched progress keepers and other yarny accessories. First thing I got was this cute little sheep wraps per inch gauge that tells you what the different weights of yarn is when you wrap it around the middle. Really fun. 
And then I also ordered a set of stitch markers from her that were kind of inspired by summer and camping. Getting ready for summer sock camp. So here's a little campfire and a little RV motorhome camper and a pretty little forest scene. And then I also noticed she was sweet enough to include two other little stitch markers. One says time to unwind and then knitting on another really pretty one. I really love these wooden stitch markers that she makes because they're so lightweight and they don't pull on your stitches at all. Check out Burlap Handmade on Etsy. Now on to my finished objects. First is my April pair of Desert Vista Dye Work socks for the eighth annual Desert Vista Dye Work Monthly Sock Club. And here they are. Such gorgeous stripes. This colorway is called the Queen's Hats. And I incorporated a pretty little aqua mini from one of her mini sets a couple years ago. I used that for the toes, heels, and cuffs. I started with a wedge toe, worked up the foot. I did about 10 rounds of a two by two rib for the cup. And then I went back to pick up stitches for my afterthought heel. I really love this colorway. It is so bright and cheerful. And I was able to split this aqua stripe for my afterthought heel, which wasn't intentional, but it kind of worked out really nicely that way. This was just a vanilla sock. I really wanted to let these beautiful stripes speak for themselves. There were quite a few colors and a little bit thinner stripes than a lot of her other colorways are, so I really love just this little bit of a different look for Desert Vista Dye Works. I did this in April in honor of Queen Elizabeth II's 96th birthday. I think that's how old she just turned. Inspired by her little outfits that she wears with her matching hats and coats and everything. Super pretty. I really loved working with this colorway. This was her 7525 Merino Nylon Viso base. And I was able to get the stripes to match up pretty darn well. And I can't wait to start wearing these. These are plain vanilla socks, knit two at a time, toe up with an afterthought heel in the colorway The Queen's Hats from Desert Vista Dye Works. Next is my latest pair of socks from The Cozy Knitter. This was her May 2021 Yarn of the Month colorway. It's called Enchanted Forest. And I did do a little bit of a pattern on this one. I did the Socks on a Plane pattern by Laura Linneman with just a nice pretty cable up the side. And then on the other sock, it goes up the other side of the foot and leg. I really love these pretty colors, how they went together. These I knit one at a time. I did do them toe up with this beautiful green mini that came with the sock set. I did a fish lips kiss heel and then 10 rounds of a two by two rib for the cuff. And I was able to match these up pretty well also. Really happy with how these turned out. Beautiful pattern for self striping yarn because there's just a little bit of detail that doesn't interrupt the stripes too much. And it's a great pattern to try cables for the first time, especially in socks, if you ever wanted to try that. These are the Socks on a Plane pattern by Laura Linneman, knit up in Enchanted Forest by The Cozy Knitter. Next, I would like to tell you about the socks that I made for my mom for Mother's Day. The yarn I used was from the Yarnable Box from May 2021. The colorway was called Sweet Pea, and I did the Rhinebeck Roomies pattern by Kay Litton, the Crazy Sock Lady. This was a cuff down pattern and I pretty much followed it exactly. I only did 16 rounds of a two by two rib and then I worked the pattern around the whole leg. I did the slip stitch heel flap and gusset that she calls for and then I worked the pattern across the top of the foot for the rest of the sock before I did her rounded toe.
toe that she recommends. This was such a beautiful yarn and pattern combination and I'm really, really happy. My mom sent me a picture of her wearing them and she absolutely loves them so I'm glad they're nice and cozy for her. And I definitely will be doing that pattern again. If you are looking for a beautiful textured sock pattern, definitely try out the Rhinebeck Roomy socks by Kay Litton. Next, I would like to tell you about a pair of DK socks that I finished in this last month. The pattern I used was the DK Weight Vanilla Socks by Kay Litton, the crazy sock lady. And here they are. The yarn I used was a one-of-a-kind colorway from Ritz Fiber on her tweed base. You can kind of see there's a little bit of Tweedy Nups in there. It is an 85% superwash merino, 15% nylon, and color nips. And I really loved how this knit up. Super pretty, super saturated dark pinks, and then into the light with the lovely colorful nips. I really, really love them. And they're gonna be so cozy to wear at night as sleeping socks. This is a basic cuff down construction with a slip stitch heel flap and gusset and a rounded toe. And I really can't wait to start wearing these. These are gonna be extra cozy at night and they are just beautiful. I'll definitely be doing a lot more DK socks using this pattern. This was the DK Weight Vanilla Sock Pattern by Kay Litton, the crazy sock lady, knit up in a one-of-a-kind tweed colorway from Ritz Fiber. My last finished pair of socks is another pair of sleeping socks. This is a worsted weight sock. It is using the Learn to Knit Socks Pattern by Stacy Perry of Very Pink Knits. And I knit this out of Crystal Skies Hand Dyed Bangle Worsted in the colorway Professor Slughorn's Hourglass. This was from her Harry Potter Club last year that I ordered on her worsted base. And how beautifully did these knit up? I really love all these dark green speckles on the yellow and light green washes in the background. So gorgeous. This is another just basic cuff down. I did 12 rounds of a two by two rib, 30 rounds down the leg. I did a slip stitch heel flap and gusset and then 35 rounds down the foot before I did the wedge toe that she calls for in the pattern. I'm super excited to wear these at night as well. They're gonna be very toasty warm, and I love how soft and squishy her bangle worsted base is. This is a pair of sleeping socks using the Learn to Knit Socks pattern by Stacy Perry of Very Pink Knits, knit up in Crystal Skies hand dyed bangle worsted in the colorway Professor Slughorn's Hourglass. My last finished object is a brioche hat. Some of us in the Love in Stitches membership have been working on brioche throughout the month of April and I was able to do a beautiful hat. This is the brioche starter hat by Raina Cruz. And the yarn I used was Ancient Arts Nettle Soft, which is 68% superwash merino and 32% nettle. This is a DK weight and the colorways are Old Red Barn. And if I flip it over, you can see better. It Takes a Village is this blue color with the kind of red speckles. I love that this pattern is reversible. And it knit up very, very quickly because it is DK weight. I was very happy and I got to experience a few more decreases in brioche. I haven't done as much increasing and decreasing with brioche. So this was a really good challenge for me. And I love how it turned out. It's very soft, very squishy and very warm. And I think it's gonna fit really nicely. I'm very excited to start wearing this. I do need to block it still. I think I can even things out a little bit better if I block it. But I was very, very excited to get this off the needles. I do have another brioche project that I am about to start. Stay tuned for the next episode for more details on that. But I'm very pleased with how this turned out. These two colors came together in a Knit Crate box a couple years ago when I used to belong to Knit Crate. And so I definitely did want them to go together. 
and I think this was a really nice project to do that with. I do have quite a bit more of this yarn, so I might almost make either a colorwork or a brioche cowl with the same yarn to go with this hat. We'll see what I decide to do with the rest of it, but I do have quite a bit more of this yarn left over. This is the Brioche Starter Hat by Raina Cruz, knit up in Ancient Arts Nettle Soft DK, and I highly recommend this pattern if you were looking for a very basic brioche hat. It knits up quickly because it's DK, and she also does have some really good tutorials linked in the pattern to tell you how to do the couple different types of decreases that she has you do in this pattern. So it's very helpful to have those video tutorials included as well. <laughs> Now on to my works in progress. My first work in progress is my May pair of socks for the Desert Vista Dye Works 8th Annual Monthly Sock Club. I have it in my sock monkey bag with my Desert Vista Dye Works pin. And I am doing these one at a time this month, so I'm almost done with the first sock. I just finished my Fish Lips Kiss Heel. This colorway is called Sleeping Zombody. I have this little Lizard Progress Keeper from the Desert Vista Dye Works 2021 prize package. And it's knitting up really beautifully. I love different shades of pink in this colorway. And I always love her zombie stripes. This one has kind of a purple and a green zombie stripe with the light and darker pink. Super beautiful. I am doing these toe up. I did a wedge shaped toe. And then I did decide just because I was a little bit busy earlier this month and needed to kind of cruise on through these socks. So I did decide just to go ahead and get a fish lips kiss heel done rather than going back to do an afterthought heel this month, which is fine. And I am going to challenge myself to just pick up the next sock Wherever the yarn ends, I'm not going to try to match up the stripes perfectly. I think it will be just fine. Since there's only four stripes, it's going to look okay if I just have them totally random for this month. I did choose this Sleeping Zombody colorway in honor of my beautiful niece that was born last month. Her name is Aurora. And so, of course, I'll be into all kinds of Sleeping Beauty things in honor of her. This is a vanilla sock knit toe up with the fish lips kiss heel in the colorway Sleeping Zombody by Desert Vista Dye Works. Next is my pair of socks by The Cozy Knitter. This was her June 2021 colorway from her Yarn of the Month Club and it's called We'll Never Be Royal. And look at these beautiful stripes. I just finished my fish lips kiss heel on these. This pepperoni pizza progress keeper is from Sucre Sucre Miniatures. And I have this pair of socks housed in my Hamilton bag from Fate Thread. So here is the colorway in the cake. Beautiful blue, couple shades of silvers and gray and black. And then here's the blue mini that it came with. I am using the mini for the toe. I did a wedge shaped toe and then the heel and I will use it for the cup as well. I'll go through a couple more repeats of these stripes before I do 10 to 12 rounds of two by two rib for the cuff in the mini. And then I will cast on sock number two. I'm using my Chow Goo Red Lace 32 inch circulars for magic loop on these. And I really love how these are knitting up. I love all of her different stripes. And this 8020 Bliss base is really soft and squishy. Such a good yarn. If you've never tried the Cozy Knitter, I highly recommend her beautiful self-striping yarn. This is a vanilla sock knit toe up with the Fish Lips Kiss Heel in the colorway We'll Never Be Royal by the Cozy Knitter. Next is my latest pair of socks from the Yarnable subscription box. This was also from June 2021. I'm really trying to work back through 
all of the yarn that I let stockpile last year and knit a lot more socks with these clubs that I belong to. This colorway is called Wild Flowers. And I am doing a pattern with these. I am doing the Union Square Socks by Mina Phillip. This is just a really pretty sort of eyelet pattern. I love how this yarn is kind of micro striping. I did the pattern across the front of the leg and then I will also continue it across the front of the foot. Here's what this gorgeous colorway looks like in the skein. So beautiful. I've been looking forward to using this ever since I got it. And I'm really happy that I'm finally working with it. I'm using my Addy Flexi Flips for these, which are working out really nicely. And I do have a cute little succulent progress creeper. I'm not quite sure where I got it from. I think it was a little add-on from an order I placed a while ago, but I thought it was appropriate. And I have it housed in this pretty pink sock bag by Zigzag Stitches on Etsy. This is the Union Square Sock by Mina Phillip, the Knitting Expat with a Fish Lips Kiss Heel, knit up in Wild Flowers by Hypnotic Yarn, part of her Yarnable box. My last pair of socks to show you is a pair of sleeping socks. This is also from Crystal Skies Hand Dyed. This colorway is called the Rainbow Connection. This was, I think, one of the very first skeins I purchased from her. So I'm thrilled to be knitting it up right now. I am doing the Learn to Knit Socks pattern by Stacy Perry of Very Pink Knits. I have a Fruit Loops Progress Keeper from Sucre Sucre Miniatures. And I have it in this pretty sheep project bag from April 9 Designs on Etsy. And I am using this cute sheep progress keeper as a zipper pull. This is from Bump on a Hill on Etsy. So I just finished the cuff. I am ready to start the leg now. And I am using my new Luca DPNs. I think these are six inch size five DPNs. I really like using DPNs for this pattern. And it's really knitting up pretty cool. I can't wait till I get to the stock and net part to see how that might change things but I'm really liking it so far. Here it is one more time in the cake, just really bright and colorful. And this will be another really warm, cozy pair of sleeping socks. This is the Learn to Knit Socks pattern by Stacy Perry of Very Pink Knits, knit up in the Rainbow Connection by Crystal Skies Hand Dyed on her bangle worsted base. Last but not least is another hat that I recently cast on. This is the Snowflake Toque, and it is by, I think his name was Caleb of Bliss Yarns. Nitty Natty, who is the leader of the Love and Stitches membership, took us on a virtual tour of Bliss Yarns in Tennessee last summer. And we actually got to talk to Caleb. I'll insert a picture. This is him wearing his own design. We actually got to talk to Caleb and tour around this beautiful local yarn store. I actually won this kit in a drawing, which was super exciting. So she sent me the yarn, the pattern, and this super cute pom-pom to go on top. So here is the yarn. And just like in the picture, it is supposed to kind of knit up sort of looking like a little bit like Fair Isle. So it'll be super interesting to see how that works. This is called Snowflake and it is by Long Yarns. It is 47% cotton, 42% alpaca, 7% polymede, and 4% wool. So very interesting, super soft and squishy, chunky base. And I can't wait to see how it knits up. Here's my progress so far. I have a little sheep cupcake progress keeper from Simply Serving on Etsy. And I've, I'm about halfway through the two by two rib for the brim of the hat. And then all I do is knit, 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 and it should, the yarn should kind of work up really pretty like in the picture. We'll see how it goes. I have it in my retro Disney bag from Bags by Awesome Granny that I always love to use for hats. So, here it is, and then it will have this cool pom-pom on top. This is a very fun faux fur pom-pom that will snap on. I just need to sew the bottom of the snap onto the top of the hat. Then I can remove it when I wash the hat. 
so I'm not necessarily getting the pom-pom all wet but kind of give you an idea of how it will look. I'm really excited to knit this up. I've been trying to get a hat knit up every month and this will definitely be my May hat and I'm super excited to see what it's going to look like when it is complete. I am using a size 10 for the brim of the hat. These are my Knitter's Pride Interchangeable Dreams needles and then they have you go up to a 10.5 five for the body of the hat and I do have some fixed needles in the Knitter's Pride Dreams in that size when I get to that point. I think I have about another inch and a half or so of the brim before I just start knitting for a few inches and then he gives you the directions for the crown decreases. This is going to be so much fun to wear, so warm and soft and cozy, but really really lightweight. So I'm excited to see what this base is going to feel like. This is the Snowflake Toque by Caleb of Bliss Yarns, knit up in Snowflake by Long Yarns. Well, I think that is about all I have for you this episode. Thank you so much for joining me and spending a little bit of time with me. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to give this video a like and consider subscribing. That would really mean a lot to me. And as always, let me know if you have any feedback for the podcast. You are more than welcome to leave a comment down below or message me on Instagram. I am at Nitty Heather on Instagram and I would absolutely love to hear from you. But until next time, be well, be kind, and happy knitting. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.